Hello, how are you all doing? I hope you're doing fantastic. I'm so glad to see you again. How have you been? Vulam Bure. Vulam Nivulai. Vendela Vulai. Odimulam. Are you okay? Is everything okay? I'm so glad to be here once again after that break. So welcome to this channel. Today I'm so excited because I am bringing you the culture of the Luya people. Another episode of the culture of the Luya people. And today I'll be doing the vegetables that the Luya people eat. And this is super exciting because I'm one person who loves, loves, loves vegetables in Luya land. What the Luyas call Riani or Tifwa. But Riani is kind of like anything that is used to eat Ugali. But in this video, we are going to just refer to it as Riani. Riani, okay? So, and if you're meeting this place for the first time, welcome to my channel. My name is Doreen Nekesa. And on this channel, I am so excited because I do teach people how to speak the Luya language of Western Kenya, specifically the Marathi language. And I also compare Luya language and other languages my sub tribe and other sub tribes and i narrate about the cultural practices of my people those that i am familiar with so if this sounds interesting to you you want to ensure you're subscribed below it's free of charge nobody should charge you so that you can join the family anyway let's get right into it and i'm going to tell you about the vegetables that the luya people eat if you are here and I mention a vegetable that is your favorite, just comment down in the comment section below that this is my favorite vegetable. So the Luya people love eating vegetables a lot, a lot, a lot. Vaja mariani, vaheradiani, vaheradiani, sana, 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 zaidi. So they eat vegetables with ugali. And they also eat vegetables with other stews, stews like meats, like chicken, like um, meat and chicken, of course meat, chicken, beef, mutton, chevron, that is the meat of a goat. They also eat pork, they eat, uh, they eat duck, they eat, they eat rabbit, they eat all those stews. But... I want you to know that in Luya land, people can eat ugali and vegetables without another stew. And that is something that is very, very normal. We just eat ugali and that vegetable or vusuma and riani and we are good to go. In fact, in some homes, they, of course, it's just today that people are now starting to mix up like meat and vegetables and ugali. But... Traditionally, meat was riani and riani was riani. Meat was vegetable and vegetable was vegetable. I mean, if you are eating ugali and meat, for example, you don't need to add vegetable because vegetable is also vegetable. <laughs> vegetable ni riani. Inyama ni riani. Riani ni riani. So, there was no need of adding, like eating together. I mean, you eat the, the two of them together. Like I remember there's a story. There's a story my, my, my father once told me that there's a man who visited a home and this man was given ugali and vegetables and meat. That is vusuma and inyama and riani. So this man started, served himself vegetables, okay? Then he started eating the vegetables first. He ate and ate and ate. And then this, the, the owner of the home called his wife and told him, hey, wait, it's, it's, it's all king. It's all king. Come carry away this meat because this guest of ours doesn't want to eat the meat. But the truth is kind of like meat is usually eaten last. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the science behind it, but. Is, there is a way meat is usually eaten last. So the vegetables that we eat in Luya land, unfortunately, I don't know how to call most of okay, all of them in English. So I'm just going to say them the way they are and the way we call them. And I'm so proud of them. Anyway, the vegetables we eat in Luya land, we have 
riseveve. Riseveve are pumpkin leaves and riseveve is very, very yummy. Actually, even my husband knows that riseveve is my favorite vegetable. It's very funny that it's my favorite, but in town, like in Nairobi town, um, I live in Nairobi city and I don't eat a lot of it because... <coughs> Because I don't find the one in Nairobi as yummy as the one in the village. The one that is just, that just grows naturally. I don't find it as yummy. That's why I don't eat it a, lo a lot of it. Because zingine ningumu. Ningumu like if you eat like you're not even eating it. But this is very yummy. And it is cooked by boiling. Usually they say that if you cook this My grandmother used to tell me. My grandmother was a wanga. But she's now late. She was a wanga from Butere Mill. That is where you realize sometimes as I teach, I keep mixing wanga here and there. So as I teach Marach, I mean, so this heavy, you just boil it. You you get it from the farm. You, 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 onyosia. Kulanganga kunyosia. There is a way it's made that you have to be an expert for you to be able to make pumpkin leaves. So the seveve we eat along with the stems and it's very delicious. So you can eat the best way is to boil it. You boil it and then you make um you can you can make a stew with whatever spices you have, but traditionally you just boil and then you add some milk and you are good to go. And it can it can go for up to one week and it will still be yummy. In fact, the more it stays, the more it becomes delicious. And they say that if you cook the seveve and a Mohereha is a mixed is is is, a, is some that is, is like salt our salt and it is it makes food very soft and if you are married in Luel and you have to know how to make mohereha in Marachi we call it mohereha the Bukusu call it kumohevano the Wangas call it mishevano tell me there are those who call it munyu munyu is also like salt munyu or the Bukusu's call is Kumonyu. So tell me if you refer to it differently. I'm going to pin a picture of it here so that you can see what I'm talking about. It's either dried banana leaves that are burnt and the ash, the, the dried banana leaves or dried um, um, dried beans. Beans leaves, they are dried and then they are burnt and the ash is you take a tin, kind of like a tin, and then you put leaves that have holes. And then you pour in the ash, and then you pour in some water, and the water drips, drips, drips. It's just pure liquid. It's very good. But they say that if you cook the seveve and umhereha, it's not a good idea because kind of like you're going to chase away the chicken from the home. I don't know. I don't know how this is related, but my grandmother never used, never wanted us to cook the seveve and umhereha. Anyway, that is the first vegetable. The second one we have rihuvi. We have rihuvi. Rihuvi is also a vegetable in Luyaland and it is like cowpeas leaves. I don't know whether it's cowpeas leaves. Is it cowpeas leaves? I hope I'm right about it, but kind of like the, the leaves of beans. Leaves of beans. They resemble the leaves of beans and they are very, very yummy, especially if they are still young. And they are, they are soft, they are very yummy. And these ones, most of the time, are cooked using mohereha. Paka ulunge mohereha. And then if you mix, you can mix rihuvi and murere. Murere is a very, it's very slimy, it's very stretchy. If you eat it, it kind of like murere, it, <laughs> it, it dan you has. Danyu, haku danyu honey, like it's slimy, it's stretchy. Di danyu hanga ukikula. So, rihuvi vasasi yange nda murere. Murere nda rihuvi goes hand in hand. So, rihuvi onyala wa boka, boku boka is just, it's just boiling. You just boil or onyala wa lunge nda, onyala wa wahere hera. Like you can cook with the muhere ha. So, olunga kose o boka. So either way, but if you want it to be tasty, I like the one that has been made with muhere ha. It's usually more tasty than riboke. Riboke re kind of this you hang up sufuria. Like it, it becomes ugly on the sufuria or on the pan. So that is, so I've mentioned riseveve, rihuvi, murere, and we have miro. Miro is very bitter. 
my mother used to have a very big farm of miro and i used to hate it when she brings it from the farm i grew up hating miro and up to date i don't like miro unless you cook it and it stays for like three days or four days just you adding milk adding milk adding milk i can eat it but i don't really like miro because if you cook it badly it will turn out very bitter but if you cook it very well it will be very very yummy and you'll not want to eat vegetables like skuma wiki the kels or the cabbage you not want to eat those or even spinach so miro if well done it's very very yummy and miro whether you like it or not you're, you you cannot boil it if you boil it you're going to destroy it the best way and the only way that i know to cook miro is to cook with muhereha paka or herehere miro <coughs> I don't know what is happening to my throat, but anyway, paka oherehere miro. Miro paka vaherehere. Another vegetable that you eat in Luya land is simboka. Simboka is also one of my favorite, and simboka do not need mohereha. Actually, if you cook simboka with mohereha, that is weird. Simboka is usually cooked just like that. You just boil or boil kasa. You just boil with water, and you are good to go. So that is simboka. And the other simboka is usually mixed with um simboka is usually mixed with ridodo and risutsa and risaka. So you can mix simboka, risutsa, risaka, ridodo. You see the, the, four, the four vegetables. So I've already mentioned the four. Simboka, risaka, risutsa, ridodo. Risutsa is a bit bitter, kind of. It's a bit bitter. And ridodo is not bitter. Ridodo and sisaka. And sorry, ridodo and simboka, they are not bitter. But... Risutsa and Risaka, some of them are bitter. You will find some that are bitter, some are not bitter. But the ones that are sold here in Nairobi are not. They are not the original ones that I really love. The ones that people call Managu. Managu is the one that we, we the, the bitter one. The traditional Managu, the, of course it's not Managu, Managu, but it's bitter and it's very nice. That is one of the favorite vegetables that I miss my paternal grandmother about. She used to make very good, <coughs> and she used to mix all those vegetables and they will call it otuago. They mix so many of them, so many of them, so many of them, and then they boil the boca and then they start adding milk, milk, milk. And it's not just fresh milk, they add fermented milk that they have satsad. Vasatirem <laughs> sisavo. Vasatire mavere msisavo, rinyanga vasata, 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 ni vatuhamudian. Vatuhamudian, vatuhamudian. I'm telling you, if you eat that mboga, if you eat that vegetable after a week of adding that mavere ma malulu, like uh, sour milk. Hey, fermented, is it fermented or sour? Fermented, sour, what is the difference anyway? Anyway, I know you get my point, right? You get my point, so that requires the more it stays the yummy it becomes so that is the secret about these vegetables so if you want them to be yummy like vegetables like miro if you eat the same day you cook it will not be yummy so keep adding milk even if you don't have um even if you don't have fermented milk you can add fresh milk but add on a regular basis and i'm telling you you are going to love it with ugali well cooked hot ugali you are going to love it and then we have another vegetable called inderema i have never eaten inderema myself but people usually eat it and they enjoy eating that vegetables myself i cannot lie that i have eaten inderema so i can't really describe how inderema tastes I don't want to lie to you guys because I have never tested it, but it is another vegetable that we lose it and love. Of course, I'm not going to finish this video without mentioning isukuma and a cabbage. 
that is also a vegetable that lawyers eat. So I'm not specifically talking about traditional lawyer land. I am talking about lawyers, contemporary lawyers. And we do eat kels and cabbage. So huritangali sukuma, huritangali cabbage. Although if you go to lawyer land like in, in Kakamega, among the wangas, they call skuma wiki as rikabichi. So I don't know. I don't know. But I don't know. My grandmother used to call kels skuma wiki as rikabichi. <laughs> I, I didn't really understand why. But they used to call it that way. If you are watching in Yorawanga, tell me how do you call kels and how do you call cabbage in your sub, if in your, in your, in your, in your, in your, in your, hey. In your sub dialects, how do you call cabbage and kels? We also have other vegetables like uh, spinach that we do eat in real land. We do eat spinach as well, but not as much. We don't eat a lot of spinach in real land. And we also have um, vegetables like kanzira. Kanzira, I don't know. Kanzira, is it a Swahili word? Is it a Luya word? I don't know. Honestly, guys, I don't know. And on this channel, if you know me, you know that I teach what I know. <laughs> <laughs> so kanzira because honestly guys i have grown up in luya land i went to school speaking luya i didn't know how to speak english i didn't know how to speak swahili i only learned how to speak swahili and english in school so basically i spoke marachi my whole life until i started going to school so that is why this vocabulary if i know them i know them if i don't know them then it means that in my neighborhood people do not, do not use that those vocabulary so i hope i didn't forget any vegetable any other vegetable that is eaten in luya land i hope i didn't forget any of course the, today i was just focusing on the vegetable like the mboga the tsifwa part of it not the riani like meat chicken I'm going to do again a separate video of that and i hope i'm going to i'll, I'll be able to do many of these um luya food series on this channel because i really enjoy talking about food because myself oh i love food i love food i love food <laughs> and of course i do enjoy making these videos at this point i want to ask you a favor just one favor please give give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet because i really really appreciate your effort on this channel so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful tell me what you think about this video tell me about the vegetables that you eat in your um in your tribe whether you're a kenyan or you are a non-kenyan thank you for watching you can watch more videos at the end of this video i'm going to link them there and i will see you in the next one bye